What are some interesting things that came to life from this from this work? Like, what what are some insights about games with, uh, where natural language is involved and cooperation, deep cooperation is involved? There's a few insights. Um, so first of all, the fact that you can't rely purely or even largely on self-play, that you really have to have an understanding of how humans approach the game. I think that that's one of the major conclusions that I'm drawing from this work um, and that is, I think, applicable more broadly to a lot of different games. So we've actually already taken the approaches that we've used in diplomacy and tried them on a cooperative card game called Hanabi. And we've had a lot of success in that game as well. Instead of just imitating how humans would communicate, we're able to go beyond that and able to feed into it superhuman strategies that it can then generate messages corresponding to.